All right, good afternoon, guys. So I got Jules in the back here, and you can't see her because toys are in the way. We actually had a Target. Uh, Got to get some cat food and some other small things for Jen for today. If you haven't noticed, I am home from work today. We got home, like I said, around 4:30, 4 o'clock last night. Went to bed around 4:30. So I originally gonna do a half day, but I woke up. I was like, you know what? Help Jen out. She's still sleeping, so I'll do a full day and hang out with uh, Jules and everything. Jen's feeling, yeah, you know, the usual. No more sharp pains in her stomach, but it's still the the normal discomfort. So. She has been lounging on the on the couch, but she has her colonoscopy tomorrow, so she can't really eat anything for us the day. So I'm gonna pick her up some Jello and some chicken broth to uh, help her out. So off to Target. All right, well you can't come to Target without checking out the baby stuff. I'm trying to see if there's anything that we could use here. Is there anything cool teething stuff? We've got food stuff. Maybe some puffs. Should eat some puffs. Just been hanging out, hanging out in the shopping cart, chewing and chewing and chewing. So Target actually had no pre-made jello. It's kind of strange. So now we have to head out of here, head to shop crate. Wait, wait. I'm gonna check one more time just to be sure. And then I gotta find out where the nearest shop crate is. There's two nearby. So much stuff here. Cool stuff. All right, so I am back home. Jen's awake. Baby's awake. And I, I up... actually didn't sleep at all. No. I did the dishes. My back is hurting less. My stomach is besides the point. Yeah. So I ended up going with baby mum mums. Banana flavor. So she's getting excited. She oh, knows individually packed. She knows something's coming up. Is this a treat for you? It was like an early baby lead weaning experiment. Yeah. Well, they break very easy. Do they? Yeah. Both work. Here you go. Good girl. You hear a little teeth scrape mm -hmm. it. I would totally taste this, but I can't. No. But I kind of like to know what it tastes like, like what our baby's eating. So I think you should taste it. I hate banana, first of all. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh. There's a slight banana taste, but it really has no flavor at all, except the banana part. But I just don't like banana flavoring. Do you love it? Here, take that piece. Is it good? Look at that little, that adorable little bite mark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What are you thinking? I think you're doing really good holding that yourself. Yes, I do. All right, so we're gonna let her munch on this for a little bit and see how she does. And I'm wondering if we should let this one taste this. No. This was your piece. I don't care, you can't give the pieces to the dog. You know how much food she's gonna get from her? Well, let's not start that now. All right, so Jen is getting ready for her lovely drink. We have to mix it with. Water. How much? I pour this and then we put water to here and then I drink. What flavor do you think it is? 
I'm going to say grape because it's purple. I think you're right. I'm always right. All right, let's give it a sip. Oh. I can smell it. Oh my God. It tastes like. Ugh. Maybe ice cold would help. I don't think it's help, babe. It is so overly sweet. It's like the the sensational diabetes first round drink. Ugh. It is so bad. This is gonna be a long cup of drink. Ugh. What are you doing? I'm putting a Jolly Rancher. Don't put a Jolly Rancher in it. Why? First off, can you have Jolly Ranchers? Hard candy. I just can't have the red ones. Um, Where does it say hard candies? Oh. 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 It's much worse than I was thinking. Oh. Hey, Dixie. I don't think I can do it. You have to. So, I officially finished my drink. That literally was probably one of the hardest things medically I've ever had to do. I thought the barium for the endiogram I had was bad. This was worse. Absolutely worse. I, uh... Thought maybe ice would help it, like ice cold. No. Nope. I had a Jolly Rancher in my mouth at one point, thinking that would help it. Oh God, no. I broke up like a can, a fruit flavored candy cane we had left over from Christmas. And I thought chewing that as I drank it would help. No. So it literally took me a very long time, I'm not gonna lie. I started chasing it with water and that seemed to be the best bet. But I'm not going to get into graphic detail, but let's just say before I was even done, it was doing its job. I asked you that, I guess not. Yeah, so Dixon needs to eat. Keeps going to make himself food and I'm going to have broth. But for now, I'm just chugging my water. I don't know how I'm going to do this again in the morning. I really don't. <laughs> Uh, no, you thought with the camera's out? Oh, wait all now. Uh, 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 hi. Whoa, what are you dancing to? Uh, <laughs> say hi. Say hi. <laughs> I think you should talk about your uh, drink. Didn't I do that? No. So yeah, I have a few mi minutes left to drink water or have jello or a Jolly Man. <coughs> that has been pretty much my night. I um, tried having like real chicken broth that I could not do. So Keith made me like noodle soup minus the noodles that I was able to drink. And then I had another jello. It is a recycling night and as you see, I've been Holding laundry in between my bathroom trips. Fun! Say fun! Ha ha ha! Um, but Keith has to get all the recycling out. And it's been a month. Because our recycling only comes every other week. So we missed it two weeks ago. So the last time was literally a month ago. So we have like two full huge cans. Oh, are you, are you want me to show them your feet? Yeah, you got feet. And you also have mommy's hair, so we're gonna work on getting that back. All right, well, it's about that time. We actually just been sitting here for the past minute or so, looking at Jules, trying to figure out when she got so big. It's insane. I think it's the hair. The hair, her hair is really starting to grow up top. And we woke her up. Full back. I think she actually hugs her like stuffed animals now, which is really cool. Yeah. 
Um, so tomorrow, Jen has her colonoscopy. Hi, pumpkin. I actually just went on the scale here. I'm not saying it's accurate. I'm not saying it's not accurate. But according to that scale, I put on like nine pounds. Sense. Six weeks. I don't really see that happening though. Like. But it's just very annoying. You've been drinking a lot of water today. No, I have to fast. But then I have to drink my bottle. Oh, it's over there somewhere. But I have to drink that with 16 ounces of water. Then I'm going to chase that with water. No, it, 32 ounces of water. Yeah. So I'm going to... Because today, like, it took me like two hours from start to finish even a little bit more so unless I really want to get up at five and stay awake I'm hoping I can go back to sleep for an hour or two I also can't make noise I was like screaming crying oh doing it today I know we got some of it on video but she kept going every little sip she would scream and cry hey but he also refused to taste it wasn't okay. going to I know. Do we do we wake you up? Should we end the vlog so we can go back to sleep? But to go back to the weight thing, you would think with prepping for the colonoscopy, my weight would have gone down. I mean... But also nighttime, you always weigh heavier at night. Yes, but in the past two days, I literally have eaten a bowl of cereal, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a slice of matzah, a handful of Cheerios, a um, double egg and cheese wrap from Quick Check really early this morning on our way home from the hospital. Three little mini hash browns this size. Um, five French toast sticks, one egg. I Eight. love how you can recite every little thing that you ate and the yeah. quantity of it. Uh huh. I barely um, know what I had two hours two ago. Two orange jellos, probably about eight Jelly Ranchers, and chicken broth. So you would have thought, I mean, in two days, that it just my weight would have gone down, not up. So we are going to get to bed. I have to go back to work in the morning. Baby girl has to go back to sleep. Yeah. Grandma will be here at 9.30. She is going to be my ride and take care of Jules and assist me. Apparently, you're not supposed to be alone for 24 hours. So, well, no, because you're going under sedation. Yeah. So, depending on how I feel, maybe you will either, uh, she'll either hang around. Knowing her, she'll probably want to help with the house because it's a disaster. That's going to be it. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it with our little shopping trip at Target. All right, bye. Leave a comment down below. Wish Jen some luck for tomorrow. You getting ready? You getting ready? Say so we'll see you all tomorrow. Yeah. And good night, tools. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. The same thing too I wanna stay forever We could be good together Guess misery loves company Better to late than never You know we could do better So take a chance and